you may have noticed the new Xactimate desktop looks a little different than 28. Not to worry, we are here to help you transition to the new desktop. This is the second video of four, focusing on the differences between Xactimate 28 and X1. Our goal is to prepare you to confidently and effectively use the new desktop version of Xactimate. In this video, I'm going to show you around the new dashboard. Starting from left to right, the first section I want to point out is the Control Center. Here, you will find the Local, Cloud, Preferences, Tools, and Help tabs. The Local tab are projects on your computer's hard drive. Projects located here can be worked on offline. On the Cloud tab are projects that are stored online. The nice thing about cloud projects is you can access them online from any device. Under the Cloud tab, there are My Projects and All Projects. My Projects are projects you personally create. All Projects show all projects on this online instance. Another great feature of cloud projects is that syncing is automatic. Whenever you're online, your data will be backed up. Whether I'm in the Cloud or Local tab, if I click on a project, the project options will pop up on the right side. One subtle difference is the cloud with the arrow icon. When you're in the Cloud tab, the arrow is pointing down. This is to download the project. On the Local tab, the arrow is pointing up to send it to the cloud. You may have noticed a lock icon next to several projects. This means the project has been checked out on another device. If you need to search for a specific project, you can do so in the Search field. You can also click on the Filters icon to narrow down your results. In order to create a new project, click New Project. Next, we have the Preferences tab. Here, you'll find General, Project, Pricing, Sketch, and Third Party. There's a lot to learn about this section, so check out our X1 Preferences tab video for more information. Moving on to the Tools tab. This is where you will now find Data Transfer. You can also find Tokens, Template Documents, and Price List Editor can be found in external links. X1 also has an improved help section. In this section, you'll find help documentation with integrated connections to the eService Center, online helps, and training. The last features I want to cover are notifications. These are the user info, bell, and sync icons. Notifications keep you up to date on the latest release notes and updates. Plus, it keeps you connected to others in your workflow. If you click on the User Info icon, you will see your information, including your Xactware ID, Xactnet address, and instance. The bell icon is where you will find all new notifications. If you used 28 previously, this is now the inbox. X1 will automatically accept any assignments assigned to you. An in-app notification will alert you whenever you receive an assignment. Use the green sync icon to make sure your Xactimate desktop is in sync with the cloud. And with that, you are ready to navigate the X1 dashboard like a pro. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.